good evening. Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Yes, right. good evening. Good evening. So, how are you? So, how are you guys? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I'm fine. I'm yes. fine. I'm fine. Teacher. Yeah, doing fine. How's everybody today? Doing fine? Fine, thank you. Teacher. All right. Great, great. It's it's good to hear you. So I'm I'm doing all right too. Yeah. So uh, let's begin with today's lesson. Okay. It's, it's so great to have you one more time. So now let's begin. Okay. So in uh, today's lesson, we will continue working with uh, with uh, simple present questions and uh, regular and uh, irregular verbs. Okay. So yes, let's let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, did you guys uh, complete your, your knowledge check? Did you guys complete your knowledge check? Completaron el, el, el cuestionario? El knowledge check uh, que estaban haciendo la vez pasada? Yes. Yes, you did? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very welcome. And thank you for uh, for your hard work and, and, and cooperation. So, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check this, okay? Uh, so, in uh, today's lesson, we will continue working uh, working with questions, all right? And uh, I want you to look at a conversation very quickly, okay? <coughs> Sorry, my bad. So, Question, yes, teacher. please, go ahead. In, el auxiliar no precisamente siempre va a ir al inicio, puede ir después de la primera palabra o es indispensable que vaya al inicio. Uh, in a question? You mean a question or in a sentence? Eh, ¿Quieres decir en una pregunta? Ah, en una, va, si es en pregunta, en una question. Una pregunta. Eh, ajá, ahí depende de qué pregunta. Ya vamos a ver eso, pero eh, vamos a adelantarnos un poco, solo para responderle. Eh, si es una pregunta cerrada, como de a yes or no question, you know, what people call a yes or no question, like, do you, uh, do you exercise, for example? Exercise. Do you exercise? So, uh, por ejemplo, esta, do you exercise in the morning? Uh, aquí sí va al principio, pero porque es una pregunta cerrada. Ahora, si fuera una pregunta abierta, uh, como, por ejemplo, uh, what, do you, what do you do in the morning? Ahí sí va, va como, va después. It goes after the, okay. the what, all right? What do you do in the okay. morning? So it depends on what type of question. O sea, depende de qué tipo de pregunta hace usted. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, welcome. So, yeah, there, there you see it. All right, pretty good. So, um, now let's please uh, take a look at this uh, conversation. I have a, a, a short conversation to show you. And uh, we are going to to practice something similar and make questions too. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. Vamos a ver la pantalla, just let me share my screen. All right, uh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, here we have a, a short conversation and uh, two people, you know, ask questions to each other. Look at this. I'm going, I'm going to read it for you. So that's what I let. So it goes like this. Uh, let's go to the park in Sunday. Mm, okay. But let's go in the afternoon. 
I sleep late on weekends. Oops, sorry, let's get back. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10, uh, at 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then uh, let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, look here in uh, in this uh, in this conversation, we have uh, two different types of questions. Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas que fueron como las que las que eh, las que tuve las que le acabo de responder como la duda que acabo de responder. Look. What time do you get up on Sundays? It's, uh, it's an information question. What time do you get up on Sundays? O sea, ¿a qué hora se levanta eh, los, los, uh, los, eh, you see, what time do you get up on Sundays? ¿A qué hora se levantan los domingos? Right? Good. And uh, look, here's the other. Okay, that's early on Sundays. And look, here's another type of question. Do you eat breakfast then? Okay. Vamos a discutir. Let, let me undo this first. And uh, change color here. Vamos a señalarla con un color diferente. Yes. Esas son las preguntas con el auxiliar do y dos. Exactly. Y son... Son las del tipo do you y wh. Exactly. Yes, yes. Now, tell me, which one is wh? Which color is wh? And which one is a, is a, is a yes or no question? What is yes or no? And uh, which one is a wh? Do you. Do you is yes or no. Yeah. What color is it? Uh, yellow. Yellow. Okay, and uh, then the other, uh, the information question or WH question is on green. Uh, so yeah, we use we use this uh, we use this in order in order to describe uh, in order to you know get more information. Okay, so look, vamos a hablar primero de las yes or no questions como esta. Okay, do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast? So, para formar una de estas preguntas, lo que utilizamos es, primero, first, uh, first, we use, uh, we use an auxiliary, like, it, depending on the person, do, or does, you know, auxiliary, el auxiliar, auxiliary, do or does, plus, uh, plus uh, of a subject, Subject plus, or sorry, let me do it again. Auxiliary plus a subject plus a verb. And don't you ever forget your question mark. That's important too. I mean, it's important to not forget your question mark. Okay, so now I want you guys to please, uh, I want you guys to please ask questions too. Okay, ahora vamos a. Tratar de hacer preguntas utilizando este tipo de formato, digamos, esta estructura. So, for example, here we have, do you eat breakfast then? Now, I want you to please uh, do something similar. Okay, uh, let's create other questions. I have this. Do you uh, eat dinner after class? All right, this is my question. Look, y sigue la misma estructura. Do, auxiliary, you, es el sujeto, el verbo, it's eat, y el resto, dinner after class, es como un complemento, el cual es opcional. Uh, so, please, tell me, do you eat uh, dinner after class? Alguien que pueda responder esa pregunta, do you eat dinner after class? Anybody? No, I don't. You don't. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> who, who, said, who said yes? 
I, I hungry. I hungry. <laughs> you're hungry. Okay, so you you do eat. Uh, you do have dinner after class, uh, Ivan. That's okay, Ivan. And uh, let's see, somebody else. Uh, do you eat dinner after class, Victor? Victor, do you eat uh, dinner? Hello? Yes. Do you eat dinner after class? After class, no. I take the dinner before. Oh, all right, good. So you have uh, you have dinner after. I'm sorry, before class. Okay, yes. good. That's good. And uh, how about uh, let's see? How about Esther? What about you? Esther, uh, do you have dinner after class or do you have dinner before class? After class. After class. Uh, me too. Me too. I have dinner after class because I, I usually have a coffee around five, so I'm not hungry before class. Okay. Uh, how about you, Manuel? Do you eat dinner after class? No. I uh, had dinner at um, 6 o'clock p.m. At 6 o'clock p.m. All right. Good. Good. Pretty good. All right. And uh, let's see. Who is uh, this? Hey, somebody, one of you, alguien se ha registrado solo con, con un número. Who is this? Le acabo de abrir su micrófono. Who's this? Who is this? Hello? Mm, gone. All right. And uh, how about, well, that's an example of a yes or no question. Good. So I want you to make, uh, I want you to make two examples of yes or no questions. Okay. And uh, then we are going to share them. Okay. Great. But I want you to please in a in a piece of paper in a piece of paper i want you to please write examples two examples of yes or no questions similar to mine do you eat dinner after class yeah so please make your own examples like this and uh how about how about you let's see larisa let's see Yes, Larissa, how about you? Do you eat dinner after class? Yes, I, um, I eat uh, after, after class. Yeah, me too. I don't have <laughs> to wake up early. So I eat breakfast before, I'm sorry, after class. I yes, can wait. After class. Yeah, me too. Yes. <laughs> yes, so yeah, that's it. And... Uh, and yes, so that's that's how I do it. Uh, how about you, Christina? Do you eat dinner after class? No, I don't. Okay. I I eat dinner before class. Before class. All right. Hey, yes. you guys. Great. Very good. Now, please uh, do me a favor. Do me a favor. I want you to please uh, uh, share one of your questions. Quiero que me compartan una de las preguntas que ustedes escribieron. It has to be a, a yes or no question or what people call preguntas cerradas. Yes or no question. So do you, blah, blah, blah. Do you, remember, do you plus a verb, okay? Pueden hacer preguntas también sobre otra persona. Like, uh, for example, uh, ayer estábamos discutiendo eh, El uso de does, for example, does your, does your brother work from home? Does your brother work from home? Well, you can say, oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Okay, you can answer like that. Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. 
Okay? Cuando hablamos de una tercera persona, when we speak about a third person, auxiliary does plus uh, a subject, your brother, you know, a he, work from home. Okay? El verbo no cambia en una pregunta because we have an auxiliary here. So does your brother work from home? Uh, yeah, let, let me, do you go to sleep after class? Oh, that's a good question, Larissa. Yes, do you go to sleep after class? Great, uh, Larissa, do you, uh, please, can you ask this question to a classmate, please? Ah, okay. Uh, everyone, my, uh, oh, you, my you select a person, you select a person, please. Okay, Esther? Esther. Do you go, Esther? Yes, yes. Okay. Do you go to sleep after class, Esther? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Pretty good. Do you listen Thank to you. romantic music? So Javi has a question here. Do you I listen know. to romantic music at night? Is it, at night. Yeah, at it's night. A, yeah, at night. Night? No, it's at night. Sí, at yes, night. exactly. Okay, okay. Right. okay, thank you. Uh, cuando son, digamos, eh, tiempos así como, bueno, son unas cuantas que van con at, con at van at night, at noon, que es como el mediodía, noon, and uh, at midnight, que es la medianoche. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, do you listen to romantic music at night? Hey, Javi, Javi, can you ask your question? to any classmate in the room, please. Mm, to whom? Uh, okay, to whom? I can never pronounce that. Okay. Do you listen romantic music at night, uh, Larissa? Yes. <laughs> I like this music. I listen. Um, the the music in the night because I um, ha, uh, teach how do you say um, uh, corrigiendo my 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 uh, my exams I don't know how to say in English. Uh, check. check 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 yeah check, check exams check exams yes thank so you, you. <laughs> that's okay yeah welcome so you check your exams so uh, Ivan has Ivan has a question here. All the time. You listen to heavy rock music all the time? All the time, really? <laughs> that's that's fun. I I listen to I, I love heavy metal and rock and roll, but I don't listen to it all the time. I'm a fan, but I don't listen to it all the time. That's cool. All right. Great. Um hey, uh so those are good. Those are really good examples of yes or no questions. Just one thing, don't forget to use a question mark at the end. No olviden el question mark. Question mark. El, el, la, la, el uh, signo interrogativo. Okay? The, the, don't forget the question mark at the end of, the, of, the, of your question. Uh, somebody else? Does anybody else wants to share one of uh, their questions? ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir sus preguntas? Do you do, you do exercise, Christina? That's a good question. Uh, uh, do you eat Chinese food? All right, good. That's great. Now, Christina, can you ask your question to any classmate, please? Mm, okay. Um, Ricardo Vega. All right. Do you do exercise? Yes, I do. I exercise in the morning. All right, good. Now, uh, very good, Ricardo. Now, uh, Manuel, uh, Manuel, can you, Manuel, can you ask your question to, uh, to any classmate, please? Um, Mauricio, do you eat Chinese food? Uh, yes, always in holiday. On holidays, okay, great. 
Great. Pretty good. All right, you guys. Uh, so now let's go over. Uh, let's go over these uh, these questions. All right, and I want you to please uh, practice with a classmate. So I'm gonna make. Voy a hacer, I'm gonna make uh, small groups. Voy a hacer grupos pequeños. Okay, and uh, I want you to please ask uh, ask your questions to your classmates. So do you run? Okay, no S in there, Mauricio, but it's it's good. It's uh, well structured. Do you run? Okay, no S. Do you run every day? Do you run every day? Okay, yeah, that's good. But no, no, uh, no S. So uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make uh, small groups so everybody can uh, so everybody can ask uh, ask and answer their questions. Vamos a ir así uh, por el auxiliar. Yes, yes, Mauricio. Uh, the yes or no questions. Mm -hmm. Yes or no questions. It's only only those. Vamos a ir paso a paso. Okay. Vamos a practicar en la primera mitad. Uh, yes or no questions. In la siguiente vamos a practicar eh, preguntas abiertas o, o w -H. w H. Yeah, W H questions. Fine. So uh, now, yeah, let's work in small groups. Make sure you have two questions. Okay, you have to have two minimum. You can have more. It's okay. All right. So uh, please uh, take the invitation. I'm gonna make uh, small groups. See, it's. Fine. Yeah. All right, here we go. Please accept the invitation. Uh, do you take a shower at night? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Um, Luis, do you speak French? No, I don't. Okay. Good questions. Yeah, those are good questions. All right, I'll go check on the other groups. Voy a revisar los otros grupos, ¿ok? You may continue. Ask other questions, ¿ok? Recuerden, eh, en, y algo muy importante también es tratar de hacer eso como espontáneo. O sea, yo creo que estas preguntas que ustedes acaban de hacer las escribieron, ¿verdad? But try to make other questions, ¿ok? Lo que se le venga a la mente. Y si comete errores, it's ok. Esa es hora de practicar, ¿alright? So I'll go, on the, I'll go check on the other groups, ¿alright? You, you keep talking, ¿ok? Keep practicing. All right. Okay. Hey, I sleeping uh, for. No sé cómo se dice horas. <laughs> Four hours. 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 Four hours. Four hours. Four hours. 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 Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. You yes. um, you work in the in your house. No, I am work. I am working. I am work in Navy. 
Maybe. Ah. Yes. Ah, okay. In el fall. <laughs> uh, no. I am in San Salvador. Ah, okay. Okay. But do do you travel to to the to the coast? Coast. No. So you said you work in the navy, right? Yes. And uh, do you have to travel to the, I mean, to the, the mili military base in the coast? Yeah, yeah, to uh -huh. a military base in the coast. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, you don't? I don't understand. If you travel, o sea, ah. si viaja, uh, ah. to a military base uh, okay. in, the, in the coast, como una base, como a un, como a la, a la costa. Como a la base. You uh -huh. are from Malapa Base. Mm, no, in other years, other years. Oh, but not mm. this time. Not this time. Mm. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. So, ahorita no, not this time. All right. Good. That's good. All right, you guys, continue talking. Okay. okay. Recuerden okay. que si, si, si ya se acabaron sus preguntas, you just keep practicing. Continúen practicando y porque. Se trata de que eso sea espontáneo también, o sea, que ustedes puedan utilizarlo. Okay. All right, so, continue okay. making questions. All right. Thank you, teacher. Good. Welcome. Okay, thank you. All right, mm -hmm. I'll go check on the other group. Okay, thank Bye. All right. All right, see you okay, later. Okay, Ivan. Mm -hmm. Later. <laughs> oh. okay. uh, excuse me, uh, uh, teacher. Yes, please. Um, uh, I have a, a question. Yes. When when you when you say a uh, good evening is yeah. uh -huh. see but it's oh, to say night. hi it's to say hi cuando decimos uh, good evening is para saludar okay uh -huh. y se dice ah, okay. good night como para des, como para despedirse ah okay so sí, good, good evening no, uh -huh. Sí, que estábamos viendo porque eh, eh, yo pensé que, que good night eh, good evening eh, se ocupaba de las dos formas. Uh, no, no, you say good evening uh, to say hello and uh, good ah, night okay. to say goodbye. Ah, ok. Yes. Ah, pues, sí, es que eh, Javier o, o, o Iván, creo que Iván el que estaba diciendo eso. Mm -hmm. Entonces era, era una, 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 una eh, o sea, eh, algo que, 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 que vi interesante, pues, verdad, que no, no lo sabía yo. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you see, we learned something new. Okay, thank you. All right. Yes. Welcome. All right, guys, I'll check on the other group. Veronica, um, do you work tonight? Tonight. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. Trabaja, trabaja esta noche. Ah, uh -huh. eh, no, no, I not, I not work. No, I don't, you see, I don't. No, I don't. Good, good, all right. Yes, very good. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll continue and go back to the session. Okay. Vamos a regresar a la, a la sesión principal, okay? Okay, gracias. All right, thank you. Okay. Gracias, adiós. Okay. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice talking to you. <sighs> so, all right. Yes, uh, uh, thanks for sharing your questions. They were very good. And uh, if anybody wants to share any other question, you can do it now. Okay, si alguien más quiere compartir alguna de sus preguntas, you can do it now. Lo puede hacer ahorita. Nope. Uh, shall we continue? All right, let's continue. So uh, now we will work. Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre vocabulario o cualquier otra cosa, please, it's time. You can ask your questions now. Nope. Well, let's move on. So I, I was saying, yeah, now we'll we'll continue with uh we'll continue with 
the other type of questions. So let me share my screen one more time. Vamos a compartir la pantalla de nuevo. Let me share my screen one more time. Just one second. Can you see it? All right, let me do it again. The way I would better say, just, I just want to make sure it, it's, it's okay. All right, just one second. Okay, just one second, guys. I just want to make sure it's okay. Share the plain screen. All right. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at we're gonna look at another type of question. We learned about uh, yes or no questions, and now we'll work on we'll work on a W H questions. Redo this. Just a second, guys. Just a second. Yeah, it's this. Okay. Look at this. I have a. What time do you get up on Sundays? So uh, this is a W H question, or some people call it information question. So here uh, you provide you provide more information. So uh, for example, all right. For example, here we have a WH question. Okay, WH question, and uh, we use uh, we use different type of uh, types of WH words. Uh, utilizamos otra diferentes tipos de WH words. Le dicen WH porque por lo general comienzan así. What types of uh, WH words we uh, do we have? Well, first we have what, what, then uh, we have uh, where, where. We also have uh, when, who, and how. Okay, and uh, so we use the word what. Utilizamos la palabra la frase interrogativa what for uh, for things para cosas. Cuando preguntamos uh, cosas, por ejemplo, what is your what is your favorite music, or uh, what kind of car do you have? Okay. Uh, or uh, what is your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite TV program? What's your favorite TV program? What's your favorite music? So what is for things? Then uh, we use where, where for places. Utilizamos where para lugares, for places. Okay, utilizamos where. For places and uh, for example, uh, anybody can anybody uh, share a question with where? Where do you live? That's perfect. Yeah, where do you live? Where do you work? Very where good. Where are you from? Where are you from? Good, good. All right. Yeah. So where is for places? Para lugares. Okay. Cuando Hacemos preguntas sobre ubicación, lugares, okay? Uh, then we have uh, when, and we use when for, uh, for time. Utilizamos when uh, for time, o sea, para hora, digamos, o digamos eh, para tiempo en general, like cuando. Okay, yeah, we also have which for things. 
when uh, there is a like uh, there is like multiple choice we'll go over which later right so when for time like uh when uh when do you when do you wash your car for example cuando lavas su carro when do you wash your car or for oh, example yeah when do you go yeah when do you go where go a donde when do Here. you go uh, uh, when do you work uh, when do you work at house when do you go home okay home yeah when do you go home all right great or for example when when's the concert right when's the concert cuando es el concierto when's the concert yes when's the concert all right or uh when uh when is your birthday you, say again when do you go after the class <laughs> uh Mm, where do you go after class? Like where or when do you mean? When? Yeah, where do you go after class? Good, good, that's good. Where do you go after class? That's a great uh, example for where. All right, uh, then uh, we have uh, who. Who, and we use who for people. Who for people, like for example, and in this one will be like, who do you live with? Or when do you return to work? Yeah, great, great. For example, who? We have who for people, right? Hang on. We also have a who for people. Okay, so for example, this, who do you live with? Con quien vives, right? Who do you live with? Uh, then uh, we also have how, how for descriptions. Like for example, how do you spell? How do you spell your name? How to spell your name, for example, or how do you like your class? How do you like your class? How, how, okay? How do you like your class? How do you spell your name? Okay, so these are questions, all right? Say so again, uh, what do you mean, Sylvia? What do you mean, Sylvia? Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, what, what do you mean in, in the chat? You, you... No, 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 no. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, Thank you. all right, no problem. So uh, those are, uh, those are uh, questions, okay? Y ahora, now let's, let's talk about structure. Vamos a hablar de estructura. Okay, uh, so when it comes to structure, uh, we begin with a WH word. Comenzamos con una frase interrogativa, WH word, plus a uh, subject, uh, sorry, an auxiliary, an auxiliary, plus an auxiliary, plus a uh, subject, and uh, plus verb, and if necessary, a complement. And don't forget your question mark. So it goes like this. WH word plus, uh, plus an auxiliary plus subject plus verb. And if necessary, a complement. Look at this. WH word, who, then the auxiliary, do, then uh, subject, you, then uh, verb, live and complement with okay or for example uh here we have a uh, sylvia's question when do you return to work when do you return to work here we have a uh, wh word auxiliary 
na subject, a verb, and a complement. Okay, uh, so I want you guys uh, to to make similar questions. Okay, similar questions to the ones we asked already. You can uh, we can discuss this like we can make questions like where uh, where do you live right somebody where do you live right I'm oh, sorry I meant this where do you work where do you work uh, when do you finish finish your quarantine uh, when does quarantine finish <laughs> never when does <laughs> when does quarantine finish uh i'll say never so yeah all right look and i say and i say here does because quarantine is a thing is algo es un concepto muy malo por cierto no uh, it's it's a concept an idea so i use does because it's it it's a thing all right so uh yeah now i want you to make your own questions si se quieren que digamos uh if you want to check if they're okay si quieren que se la revise you can put them in the chat and uh or 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 just say it and I'll let you know if your question is okay. All right. So uh, please uh, share your questions if you have any, if you wrote any. Teacher. Yes. Eh, who do you sister? Eh, ¿Quién es tu hermana? Uh, no, en ese caso es, eh, utilizaríamos el verbo, el verb be, porque es ser y estar, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, who is your sister? Ah, ok. Ajá, es, ok, el to be es, específicamente. Ajá, es to be porque eh, no estamos hablando de acciones, sino que okay. de estados. Mm -hmm. Ok, sí. gracias. Sure. Y right. se puede decir, what day do you go to, ah, church, ahí, to church? Ahí, podríamos, ahí tendríamos que utilizar when. When. Uh, when do when, you go to cuando. Ah, exacto. When do you go to work? Go to church, you said, right? When do you go to church? Virtual church. Yeah, virtual. <laughs> virtual church. We People can go to church now. All right. Um, yeah, it, it's got to be when. Tenemos unas frases que son com, como compuestas. O sea, una fra, unas preguntas que son como compuestas. Por ejemplo, tenemos what time. Si se fijan, esa ahí está en, 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 en la conversación. What time? Y también hay otra. Do you que, like? Esa es una, es una yes or no question, but it's okay. Yeah. Esa es una cerrada, ¿verdad? Yes sí, or sí, no. Sí, sí, sí. Mm, it's okay. okay. También tenemos otra que es what kind. Everybody say what kind. What kind. Entonces, esta what kind. Exacto, qué clase, qué tipo, what kind, son compuestas, ok, so yeah, you, you remember that, those ones too, uh, and does anybody want to, uh, want to check their answers, I mean their questions, alguien quiera, que quiera compartir sus preguntas, so I can check them, anybody? Do you prepare dinner? What time do you prepare dinner? Yeah, that's a good question. Yes, pretty good. Pretty good. Anybody else? What kind of fruit do you like? Perfect. Yes, that's good. Somebody else, please? I like watermelon. Uh, all right, that, that's, uh, that's a sentence, that's a sentence. Please, uh, can you make a question? It's a good sentence, by the way, but 
How is your brother? Yeah, that's great, Christina. How is your brother? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's okay. Yes. Uh, tiene que ser una pregunta, así como para que alguien le responda. Okay. Uh, let's I see. Any... Yes, go ahead. Eh, cuando hablamos de una mascota, entonces queremos preguntar el nombre. Eh, what's her name? Estaría bien. Eh, in general, yes. Uh, I mean, in, in, in uh, like, let's see. In general, you use it. What's its name? Pero si digamos, eh, usted está viendo la mascota, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I have mine there. Mine is there. Can you see it? Pueden ver el mío. And it's, uh, it's taking a nap. It's there. <laughs> yeah, it's un poco sin vergüenza, por cierto. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you say, uh, it's a male. Entonces, como usted lo ve, puede decir, what's his name? Okay. What kind? No, uh, what kind? Uh, what kind? What kind, kind of dog, for example? Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. What kind of dog? Uh, or, what? Or what kind? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what kind of dog? Or what ah, kind of dog. pet? Ah, dog. Uh, ah, ¿Qué okay. tipo de perro? ¿Qué raza? Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, okay. yeah, in, in your case, uh, in the question, your question about it or his or she, You can use what's her name if uh, if uh, you see it's a uh, it's, uh, female. Si ve que es, que, es, eh, que es hembra, ¿verdad? O digamos, si la gente le tiene aprecio, puede usar her name is. Pero en la regla es, para mascotas, para animales, se usa it. Pero cuando la gente ya le tiene cierto aprecio a sus mascotas, y utilizan el género biológico de ellos. O sea... You know, his name para un macho or her name para una hembra. Okay? All right? It's All right. correct. What is its your it. pet name? Say again. What is its your pet's name? Is correct? Yeah. What's your pet's name? That's perfect too. What's, okay. your, what's your pet's name? Yes, that's good. Any other questions? Uh, let me see if, if uh, there is anything in the chat. Oh, yeah, we have something here in the chat. Okay, how's your brother? Tengo una pregunta, una pregunta como whose se le puede aplicar. Yes, you can use it. Whose is a little complex, though. Whose tiene como un como cierto grado de dificultad, porque estamos hablando de, de, de posesiones, ¿verdad? Whose, but you can use it. Whose por ejemplo, whose, uh, whose, um, let me see, whose phone is it, for example, whose phone is it, or whose phone is this, whose phone is this, o sea, cuando utilizamos esa whose para hablar de, for, to speak about possessions, cuando hablamos de pertenencia de alguien más, okay, for, for example, oh, whose phone is this, de quién es este teléfono, Whose phone is this? Okay. So uh, that's how you use it. Cuando hablamos de posesiones o de, o de pertenencias. All right. Good. Well, you guys, uh, let's see how we're doing with time. If we will still be able to share it with. Let's see. Oh, yeah, now yeah, we still have time. So yeah, anybody does any who's does anybody want to uh, want to share their questions? Yeah. Yes. Este, eh, estaba estaba revisando una pregunta que practicamos ayer. How do you get to work? Se uh -huh. refiere al, al medio, al recurso que utilizamos para llegar al, al lugar, ¿verdad? Exactly, yes, yes. Uh, it refers to y the... para preguntar, por ejemplo, porque la traducción ahí sería, ¿cómo llegas a tu trabajo? Uh, yeah. Pero yes. eh, para preguntar dirección, así, ¿cómo llegar a, a un lugar? ¿Cómo oh. llego, por ejemplo, cómo llego a Metrocentro? ¿Cómo llego a Plaza Mundo? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, all right. Eh, digamos usted va en la calle y le pregunta a alguien you, you're, you're walking on the street ah, alguien, and you ajá. see a, a stranger you ask a stranger you can ask 
How can I get to how can I get to uh, Multiplaza, for example? How can I how get to Multiplaza? can I get? Uh, yeah, how, how can I get to Multiplaza? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, that's how, how you I ask. Get, oh, how can I get to? Como puedo llegar a excelente. Yes, yeah, good, good. Any other question, guys? Yeah, you me puede responder. Esa, esa pregunta se puede, esa pregunta se puede aplicar para La dirección e igual, por ejemplo, si hay tipo de transporte, me pueden responder de dos tipos de manera. Que me den la dirección o me digan, puede, eh, por ejemplo, you can, you can, tomar, tomar, ¿cuál era? El de take. Tomar? You can. Yeah, you can take. Por ejemplo, tú puedes tomar, ajá, you can, you can take, take a bus. You can take a bus. Mm -hmm. ¿Me pueden contestar solo así con el medio de transporte o dándome la dirección también? Uh, yeah, possibly depends. Uh, eso depende de, 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 del receptor, o sea, quien le escucha esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero sí puede ser que, de, de, o sea, todo depende del contexto, siéndole sincero. Del contexto. Ajá, pero, uh, pero eh, cuando preguntamos, how can I get you? Siempre es para pedir direcciones. Uh, Pero la gente le va a responder, o sea, con, la, con, la, con las direcciones, ¿verdad? Si digamos anda en carro, ¿verdad? Le van a dar las direcciones. So, yeah, they will ask you that first. It, todo depende del contexto. Pero digamos, how do you get, ahí es diferente. How do you get, ya es como, como cuando se refiere al, al medio de transporte. How do you get, you know, cómo se llega. Si es en bus, en carros, or so on, if it's by bus. Entonces, luego de, que me, luego de que me conteste, ajá, luego que me diga la dirección, le puedo, para preguntarle el medio de transporte, le puedo preguntar, how do you get to plaza, multiplaza, por ejemplo, para que ah. me diga ya el medio de transporte que mm -hmm. puedo utilizar. How do, you, how do you get there? Oh, you get there by bus. Or you get, you get there by, by coaster, 42. You take uh, you take bus forty two, okay? How do you? How do you? All right. So yes, for example, you you're on the phone. You ask a question over the phone. So that's how people would answer. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, any other question? Any other question about this? I get. I guess uh, we we have uh, very little time. Entonces ahorita tenemos poco tiempo. Y quizás no, ya separarlos en grupos pequeños eh, no, no sería muy, muy conveniente. Solo vamos, manden sus preguntas y yo les voy a decir si están buenas o no. I will check your questions. So please uh, type them in the chat or, you know, just uh, speak. You know, share, share it. Uh, so let's see, what kind of color, what kind of color do you want? That's a good question. Oh, I want a dark color. Or I want, I want a, a bright color. It's a good question. Or a green, you know, something greenish. Como algo, algo verdoso. See, that's a good question, uh, Larissa. But uh, yeah, it, it needs context. Okay? Necesito como un poquito de contexto para, para responder. Who okay. do you go to the beach uh, with? Okay? Uh, with you. Who casi siempre se, se complementa con la frase with al final. Al final. Por ejemplo, dicen, uh, who do you live with? Who do you live with? Who do, who do you go to the beach with? Who do you go to the beach with? Okay, ese también se puede utilizar. Who do you go to the beach with at the end? Sorry, I, I forgot it myself. Who do you go to the beach with? All right, entonces así tiene que ir al final. Uh, any, any other question, please? You can type them or, or, or just say it. Teacher. Yes. Um, where do you go after class? That's fine. Where do you go after class? A donde vas después de la clase, right? Where do yes. you go? Yeah, that's perfect. It's a great question. 
you can't do much after class now, but yeah, that's a good question. No podemos hacer mucho después de clase, pero it's when. When do you wash the car? <laughs> that's a good question, uh, Rocio. Yes, when do you wash, wash your car? Yeah. I wash it on Sunday. I wash it on Wednesday. Yeah. Or I, yes. Go ahead. Eh, eh, es, um, the good sense. Eh, o sea, está buena la, la pregunta que está haciendo Verónica. What kind do you like music? Está buena así. Uh, Veronica, let me see. Oh no, no, I didn't see that one. No, no, lo reversa. Okay. What kind of music do you like? Okay. What kind of music do you like? Of music. Uh, what kind of music do you like okay what kind of music do you like i said when's the meeting perfect perfect that's a good question too using verb b of course yeah but that's good what kind of music do you like do you like uh, yes yes all right yeah that's good that's good thank you all right very welcome anybody else okay you guys uh so uh if you don't have any other question i, I guess uh, i guess we're okay um uh, and uh so we'll continue tomorrow all right we continue practicing questions and uh you can also share in the chat. Let me see, perdón. Uh, he gets up early and goes to work. Yes, you can You can do that too, uh, Mauricio. Puede unir dos oraciones por medio de, de and y omitir el sujeto. Yeah, he gets up early and goes to work. So it's okay. You don't have to use he again. Again, it, it's not necessary. Yeah, that's good. Eh, aquí en estas oraciones, teacher, solo ocupamos el tú. Sí, solo el tú, que es un presente simple, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, simple present eh, with action verbs, con, con verbos. Mm -hmm. ah, por ejemplo, si lo quisiéramos hacer en pasado, esa oración sería we did. We yeah, did. Exactly, o, exactly. O en futuro, eh, sería ahí sería who did y en futuro who will. Yeah, we will do, yeah. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, for your classmates, make questions in present, okay? Porque estamos aprendiendo el presente y no todos pueden en el futuro, okay? So you make these questions, make uh, three WH questions. Hagan tres preguntas y eh, las, las discutimos mañana, okay? La vamos a discutir en grupo mañana, All right? So we practice that tomorrow. All right, you guys. So I think it's time. Class is over. And I hope everybody has a good night. Okay? Good night. Good night, good night. Good night teacher. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Jesus, what well, was that? Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.